I was about to move to America and then I was uh, doing a play here and I got diagnosed with multiple myeloma, which uh, my doctor at the time said, uh, it's a great cancer to have. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, the best of the terminal cancers. After looking it up on Dr. Google, I've, I've, I've worked out I had about two and a half, three years left. And then um, uh, after I had some treatment and then I've been, um, went overseas and I did sort of alternative therapies, but of course none worked. And then I came back and did more um, stem cell transplants. Uh, I did three of them. I did more chemotherapy. I did immunotherapy. Everything just bounced off, nothing worked. And um, then earlier this year, I was told that I had three months left to live, at, or um, not very long. So um, we were pretty determined to try and find another way. And we were um, read up about CAR T cell therapy, approached our doctor. He was very enthusiastic and found a study and a trial that was happening over in Seattle in America. We flew over not knowing if we'd get on the trial. We got there, waited six weeks, um, and that all the time, through that six weeks, the myeloma is just getting more and more out of control, so we're incredibly worried that we're not going to make it. And then uh, it gets brought in. We are in, within the parameters of the trial. We get the drug. And it brings my the myeloma, the protein level in my bone marrow from 95% to zero. And over the course of two weeks, where I, um, and I cannot tell you the feeling um, to, to know that because I've kind of been living with a death sentence for seven years and, and now uh, due to CAR T cell therapy and the opportunity of going to America, uh, I am cancer free now. And I really hope that uh, this uh, treatment can come over to Australia as soon as possible for other myeloma, but, and not only myeloma, but other blood cancers as well.